Hey, hola, buenas tardes, mi amigos y mi amigas. Bienvenidos a la clase español. So, said hello, uh, good afternoon, my friends. Welcome to our Spanish class. Okay, so this is the Spanish too. Kaya kailangan natin pag-aralan pa rin yung basics. But there, uh, uh, just like what we had last semester, we studied the basics of Spanish. But this coming, this semester, we are going to learn more about Spanish language by reading literatures. So expect that I'll be sending a ton of literatures that you have to read, both in Spanish and in English, in order for you to you know to improve your comprehension and then your pronunciation in this language <coughs> but anyways before we move into that and see Juno said she did not get Spanish 101 last semester but she's enrolled in this class so it's probably appropriate to review things especially the basics especially the Spanish alphabets and the pronunciation of the Spanish alphabets. So for the inf information of everyone, just like what we discussed last semester, Spanish is the second widely spoken language in the, the whole world because there are so many, like more than half of the world speaks this language. So it's really a good thing that we are learning the basics of the Spanish language. But today we are going to talk about pronunciation, pronouncing the English alphabets, especially the vowels and the consonants. Yeah, we're going to uh, review those kind of things. Para naman si Juno, and meron siyang idea what or how to pronounce these letters or how to pronounce the Spanish alphabets. So, um, <coughs> Uh, in Spanish, al Spanish alphabet is basically the same as English. It's just that uh, some of the letters that we have in Spanish alphabet are, uh, couldn't, couldn't be found in the English, yeah, English alphabet. And some of the letters from English alphabets couldn't be found in the the Spanish alphabet, so malalaman natin yan. By the way, I am going to send this presentation that I am using right now so that while watching this video, you can also have the presentation para mas lubusan yung malaman kung ano yung mga nangyayari na. I don't know how to put this kasi sa video. But anyways, I hope this will be fine with, <laughs> with you guys. Okay, so... One good thing that we need to remember is that English vowels tend to be suppressed where Spanish vowels must be pronounced sharply and clearly. Okay, in English vowels, like A, 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 O, O, in English, uh, A, for example, has more than two, four, or, yeah, six uh, ways to pronounce it. Just like A in the word apple is different uh, to the A in the word ache. But in Spanish, we have to pronounce it sharply. So, <laughs> it doesn't change uh, its sound regardless of what letters comes, or what letters come with uh, this vowel, letter A, or whatever vowels. Uh, but we remember that we have to pronounce it sharply and clearly. Just like letter A, we have to pronounce it like A. Letter E, 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 I, E, and then O, O, and then U, U. Okay, just like basically Tagalog vowels. <laughs> okay, but you need to remember that although a rather simple lesson in pronunciation will help you get by, only by practice will you begin to feel comfortable in speaking or pronouncing Spanish. Okay, so the basics of Spanish. It's still up to you. You still have to do your part in order to fully understand 
this language and in order for you to fully uh, speak this language fluently or if you desire to speak this language fluently uh, there are so many resources that we can use I'm going to send out resources later on okay so let's start pronouncing vowels so in my vowels are A A O U so letter A is basically pronounces A in the word father it's like A okay it's just like casa or home uh, just like madre mother and the other example here is padre father and then papel paper so the letter A we have no problem with that okay vowel E letter E uh, basically it is pronounced as A in the word big when at the end of the syllable so like for example padre padre okay necessario or necessary okay but uh, it is pronounced as E in the word bet in when in a closed syllable so remember this kapag nasa open syllable or at the end of the syllable we pronounce this as a in the word bay, so padre, but then if it's uh, in the closed syllable, we pronounce it e in the word bet. So this one like usted, and then sentir, sentir, which means to feel, a verdad, which means truth, a verdadero, which means true, and then decir, which means to say. Okay. No problem with that. Next is letter I. Or yeah, <laughs> letter I is basically pronounced as letter E. Okay, like ir, that means to go. Libre, oh, yeah, that means free. And then fiction, that means uh, fiction. So basically, yung I can give in Palakashan Parako. Letter O, uh, no problem with letter O. Uh, it is pronounced as letter O. O. Like for example, ojo. Oho means I, but then if you want to make it plural, you have to add S, ojos. Or mano, which means hand. Or señora, which means woman or lady. Or you can also say señor, sombrero, contra, consejo. So, diba? Very Tagalog siya. So, no problem with that. Letter U, or letter U is pronounced as U. Okay, so like mucho. That means much or a lot. Nunca. That means never. Buscar. That means that means to look for. Uno. Yeah, number one. Or una. Kapag babae naman siya. Okay. So no problem with letter. Okay. Let's proceed to the pronunciation of the consonants. <laughs> so pronunciation of the consonants is so easy. May mga ibang letters lang siya na hindi hindi natin na pronounce I mean na hindi normally na pronounce natin sa English alphabet. Okay, letter let's have letter B. B is basically b b or b. What do you? So let's say trabahar trabahar, which means to work. The b, which means to drink. Bastante bastard. Uh, bastardo, but diba? los bastardos, bastardo. So no problem with letter B. Letter C, okay, we have to <laughs> remember this. Letter C is pronounced as letter C in the word con, supply, before A, O, or U. So remember that. Just say C, M, O, yeah, let's just say como or like how. Café, uh, cabrito, lección. So you can see letter C is pronounced as, uh, like letter K. But then, uh, if it is <laughs> preceded by E or I, it is pronounced as S. So we have here decir, which means to say. Sorry, my dumang Optimus Prime. Yeah, there you go. And then cinco. We don't say cinco. Cinco. 
but we say sin goes in C is preceded by I and then the next C is preceded by O so the long C yeah. so the other the first C is pronounced as S and the second one is pronounced as letter K and then hacer which means to, to like cucinar which means to cook okay the next CH no problem with CH it is pronounced as CH so mucho muchacho which means a boy muchacha which means a girl chorizo it's a spicy for so no problem with that letter D no problem with letter D just D de okay like donde donde means where or like if you want to say saan yung banyo donde esta el banyo where is the bathroom okay donde esta el mi el clase where is my class so, donde Okay, then todo, which means all. Kaya nga yung kanta na todo, 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 yung all, all, all ang sinasabi nito. And then pendir, which means to, to sell. It's no problem with letter D. F is pronounced as fe. Efe. Yeah, so, so in Spanish it is pronounced as fe. Fe. But yeah, it's basically the same as English F. So what we have here is falta which means thought, frío, which means cold, difícil, which means difficult, or we can also say photographia, and yeah, photographia, so you need to pronounce it letter F, <laughs> F, okay, and then letter G, there are two ways to pronounce letter G, the other, uh, the first one is when it is preceded, or when letter G is before A O U, we need to pronounce letter G as G in the word garden. So like gracias. Gracias. Oh no malapalayo. But then you say guacamole. Guacamole. So that means uh, guacamole. It's basically the avocado sauce. Masarap yeah. Or pagar, which means to pay. But it is pronounced as uh, glateral or through the H before E and I. Before E and I, nagigi parang H na yung letter G. Like for example, what we have here is ente, general, hema, and peel. Okay, the other thing is like, alam yung pangalan George? G E O I G E. In Spanish, it is not pronounced as George, but it is pronounced as Jorge. Jorge. Because G is basically preceded by E, so it becomes H. And the other G is preceded by E again. So it, is, it becomes H. That is why we pronounce it Jorge. <laughs> okay. H is always silent. Remember, H, hindi natin pronounce, but in spelling it, we still have to put letter H. Like for example, uh, the word hoy is pronounced as oi. That means today. Can I say because kanina? Como esta oi? How are you today? How are you today? <laughs> Spanish and Spanish. Okay, ihem. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Nagluloko ba sa yung uh, a, a h is basically uh, pronounced as silent. We don't say letter h at all. Okay, so no problem with that, like hacer hermano instead of saying hermano, hermano, uh, but with H but in your hermano Dino, brother Dino, hermana Dina, sister Dina. Okay, next is J, it is pronounced as kind of like H. No problem with that, like jardín, ejemplo, Juan. Jalisco. Jalisco is a place in Mexico. Jalisco. City of Jalisco. No problem with letter J. We have letter K. Basically, letter K is pronounced as, excuse me, the English K. But it is not found in Spanish based words. So what does it mean? <laughs> uh, your letter K is in absorbed line in Spanish. Kasi wala sila. Wala talaga sila. No? Wala silang equivalent letter for that 
That is why we like, they adapted it. Just like sa Pili, Tagalog, hindi ko wala tayong F. Inadapt natin like, like freezer. Wala naman talaga. But anyways, dito like kilometro, kilogramo, kiosko, no problem with that. Okay. <laughs> L is pronounced as letter L. Libro, libre, kuzumel, fasil, uh, what else? Leon. So L is basically pronounced as letter L. But then we have this dover, double L. Double L. L L. Double L L. So in Spanish, in Latin America, it is pronounced as Y. In Castilian, it is pronounced as uh, L L I. Nda, kaya nga dito sa Pilipinas, we, kasi the Spanish that we spoke here uh, was basically Castilian. And that is why we say Castillo. Yung LL natin nagiging I, uh, I, uh, nagiging yo, Y, O. Nagiging sa I, O, Y. Whatever. But then, uh, in Spanish, English, Spanish, uh, Universal Spanish, we don't say that. Instead of saying Castillo, we say Castillo. So saying Calle, we say Calle. But double L for it. Just like what we have here, Yamar, instead of saying Liamar, we say Yamar. Llegar, Llevar, and Caballo, instead of saying Caballo. Caballo, it's a Castilla. We have to say Caballo here, because universal Spanish and Pinagaral. <laughs> M, the problem with letter M is pronounced as letter M itself. Minuto, importar, tomar. No problem with that. N, same with N. Nina yung mano or N. Negro or black. Noche, that's not noche buena. And general, no problem with that. N, N is basically, it is pronounced as NY in the word canyon and lanyard. So, pequeño, just little. Anyo, that means you. Niña or niño. I think, alam nyo na, no problem with that. Letter P is pronounced as letter P. Guapa, possibly, rapido. Okay, Q, U, it is pronounced as letter K. And remember, Q, U, um, is uh, preceded only by letter E and I. Like, K, or that, who, which. Like, que tal? Pwede rin kasi sabihin na keta instead of saying como esta. Kasi say keta, how are you? Uh, querer, aquí, queda, or quiero. Like, I want, quiero. Okay, next, R is pronounced as R, but we need to pronounce it uh, with trill. So, we, with, yeah, with trill dapat siya. So, we say servir. Diba? In, in English, we say servir. But then, in Spanish, we have to pronounce the R, the correct R, servir, and secreto, rojo, rio. And then we have doble, doble R, or RR. R is R, and then RR is doble R, so ano naman to? Dapa elongated siya, like arroz, irregular, irregular, so I'm saying irregular. Let's say irregular, irregular, irregular. There. So there should be a trail. <laughs> like, mam pag aaralan natin yan later. Fine. S is pronounced as letter S. Siempre, nabiyas, asi, siglo. T is also pronounced as letter T. Tener, to have, tener que, to have to, sentir, tinta, tierra, that's earth. And then V is pronounced as letter V, but not pronounced assertively as V. Like in English, you say V, but then they say Ebe, Ede. So like Vivir, Verdir, Ubas, and Uvenir. Okay, not shortly. Just similar with Spanish letter B. Okay, and W doesn't ex exist in Spanish alphabet. There is no such word that ends or starts with letter W as so Spanish. Letter X, there are two ways to pronounce letter X. When it occurs between vowels, we pronounce as GS. So like for example, examine. 
can say examine, but we say examine, exito, existia. But when it occurs before a consonant, <laughs> we pronounce it with S. So, by vowels, GS, the consonant, nagiging S lang siya. So, like what we have here, explicar instead of saying explicar. Explicar, exclamar instead of saying exclamar. So, estrimo. So, don't forget that. Kapag vowels, GS on pronunciation. Kapag consonant, it is pronounced as like an S. You know, X. <laughs> then, Z. It is pronounced as S parenyon, so zapato or shoe, and paz or piece and riqueza. So basically, yun yung vowels, or uh, vowels and consonants to Spanish alphabets. I hope uh, may mang na 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 review yung mga bagay na yun. At kung may katanungan kayo, just uh, <laughs> let me know. Ipapost ko yung video na ito sa ating Google yeah, sa ating Google Classroom and at the same time yung ito okay and I'll be doing I'll be giving assignment later okay I hope everything is well kung may katanong just let me know okay adios